Hello friends and welcome to Swathya's tutorial. This is me Swathya again and today I'll be dealing with a topic which is a continuation of abortion which we are dealing earlier. Today we'll be taking a complete and incomplete type of abortion. So let's start our class today. So the first type of abortion we are going to deal today is complete abortion. So from the name itself complete what do you understand is when the product of conception comes out of the woman's body completely without leaving behind anything that is no part of placenta or the membrane or the baby is left behind that is called complete abortion. So when we read the definition theoretically what it says when the product of conception is expelled in mass it is called complete abortion. Okay. Now let's see what are the clinical features of complete abortion. So when a woman comes to you with a history of expulsion of fleshy mass per vagina followed by subsidence of abdominal pain and vaginal bleeding becomes trace or absent it suggests of complete abortion. Okay, So the lady who is pregnant or is having amenorrhea from past few weeks will come to you with a history of expulsion of a fleshy mass per vaginally. Okay, And after passing off the fleshy mass she will experience that the abdominal pain has reduced and the vaginal bleeding has also became trace or is absent. So this is the first and foremost clinical feature which we get out of history taking. Now when a woman with such history comes to us and we perform internal examination for confirming the diagnosis what are the significant findings which we get is the uterus is smaller than the period of amenorrhea per se if the woman is pregnant for 12 weeks and when you do internal examination you find that the uterus is much smaller than that than 12 weeks okay and if you do if you check the cervix the os will be closed it will not be admitting any fingers the bleeding will be very less and when you examine the fleshy mass passed by the woman you will find that it is intact and the baby along with amniotic fluid, cavity, uh, amniotic sac and the placenta everything is still inside the sac and that means the baby is complete and it has come out as such. Nothing is left behind. Now once the diagnosis has been confirmed after history taking and internal examination and after checking the expelled mass you get that it's a type of complete abortion. Now what are the more management protocols after that is you have to identify the effect of blood loss. If you find that the lady is having any complications associated with the blood loss you have to manage it. Okay and if after checking the expelled mass, you have doubt that whether the mass is complete or there is still something left behind, then you have to go for uterine curettage in order to empty the uterus. So that is all about complete abortion. Now moving forward to incomplete abortion. Okay, It's just the opposite of complete abortion. So what is the definition of incomplete abortion is when the entire product of conception are not expelled, instead a part of it is left behind in the uterine cavity. It is called incomplete abortion, which means that the membrane of the baby has not come out completely along with the sac and the placenta and the umbilical cord rather a part of the baby is still left behind inside the uterus then it is called incomplete abortion. So the clinical feature and the diagnosis of this abortion is also based upon history taking and internal examination. So when you take history of a woman what she will say is she has expelled a fleshy mass per vaginally followed by which she still has pain in the lower abdomen which is colicky in nature but it has diminished in magnitude. So the history will be similar that means that this woman also will pass a fleshy mass per vaginally. After that the pain will still be there but the magnitude of pain will be reduced. Okay this is the first thing. Now after history when you go for internal examination of this woman what you will find is Per vaginal examination reveals the uterus is smaller than the period of gestation but the cervical os can admit the tip of your finger that means the os will not be closed in incomplete abortion and the bleeding will be present 
because there is still some part of fetus is left behind in the uterine cavity so this lady will be having pain and the os will still be open and bleeding will also be present okay and when you will examine the expelled mass you will find that it is not complete now coming to management of patient who is having an incomplete abortion is the first and foremost step to do is we have to resuscitate the patient depending upon the condition and the amount of blood loss we have to resuscitate and stabilize the patient first and once your patient is stabilized you have to categorize whether your patient comes under early abortion or late abortion early abortion means whether the period of gestation is before 12 weeks and late abortion means after 12 weeks okay if the abortion has happened before 12 weeks it comes under early abortion and in that condition you have to go for dilatation and curettage under general anesthesia and remove the leftover part of the fetus okay and if it is late abortion that means the abortion has happened after 12 weeks in that condition you have to evacuate the uterus under general anesthesia and the product is removed with the help of ovum forceps or by a blunt curate so this is how you manage incomplete abortion so friends yes i have completed the another type of abortion which i promised that is complete and incomplete abortion so that's all for today in my next video i will be coming with missed abortion okay thank you for watching